It's Steve from the garden, and the time has come to terminate this crop of buckwheat. I planted this cover crop of buckwheat in mid-July. Now the end of August, and the buckwheat has been flowering for about two weeks now. Now when I did plant this, I did use some homemade compost. I ended up with one viable squash seed in there, but uh, we'll terminate that with everything else. You can see how well and thickly grown this has gotten. And the pollinators have just been loving all the flowers. I've seen at least five different species of pollinators visiting. So step one is gonna be cutting all this vegetation down. Now my choices are I could use like a weed whacker. That tends to scatter the vegetation everywhere. Another choice would be run it over with a lawnmower. But I don't have a push mower and I, I think if I tried to put my lawn tractor on top of this bed, I would have to rename this video to Termination or Cover Crop Ends in Disaster. So, my choice is to try use my hedge trimmer to see if I can't get a nice clean cut just above the surface of the bed. And I've never done this before, so we'll just see how it goes. Vegetation has all been cut down, and I just piled all that vegetation on the top here. The head trimmer did a really nice job of cutting it right above the surface, and it took about 12 minutes or so for me to do that. So I'm going to let this sit for about two days. Um, the bees can kind of go and scurry around the flowers that remain on the top uh, over the next day or so while it begins to break down, and then we'll check back. Well, what was going to be two days turned into more like five. Uh, just life gets in the way sometimes, you know. But uh, you can see the vegetation is kind of matted down now. So I'm ready to go on to the next step, which is to kind of water this in. And then I'm going to throw compost on top of it. The bed has been watered in, compost put on. I watered the compost in too to make sure it gets into all the little nooks and crannies within the vegetation. Now you might be wondering why am I bothering watering this at all? And that is because I'm essentially composting this in place. The composting organisms need water to uh, do their job. So let's move on to the last step, which is to get this covered. I have the bed covered now, and I'm using woven ground cover as my cover of choice. Uh, I used uh, just some logs I have laying around to kind of hold it in place. And if the wind starts flapping it around too much, I can throw some more on here. Now on the leading edge, where we get the most wind, I use these bricks to hopefully, hopefully um, hold this down uh, the best. And another thing I did is on the cut edge of both sides, I hit it with a torch so it doesn't like start fraying and coming apart. Now you might notice that the center of this bed is kind of mounded. But as all that vegetation starts breaking down, it'll kind of level itself out. And when I go to use the bed next, if it's still a little off, I can just use a rake or something to kind of level it off. Now this bed is like 36 inches wide, and I used a 36 inch wide uh, landscape cover. And while it doesn't cover the edges perfectly because of the mounding, it'll be good enough. So my next plan for this bed is to put garlic in it. But that won't be for a couple of months yet. So until then, we'll just let this vegetation break down. And I'll kind of check on it over the next couple of weeks. And if necessary, I'll add maybe even a little bit of uh, alfalfa pellets to add some nitrogen to it. So until garlic planting time, that'll be the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed, got something out of it, and we'll see you on the next one.